make her crouch. So, uh, so let's again just copy her standing animation. Now, I can zoom out here. So, her crouching is these two. Uh, she crouches, and so crouching has. Uh, has some complexities in that crouching is something where as long as the down arrow is held we want her to continue crouching uh and then when the up arrow is held we kind of want her to uh to cr uh to to play the animation in reverse which is uh so this is this is kind of a little bit complex so uh, so at the moment we have it as a reversed animation, meaning it goes from frame one to frame two and then back to frame one. But we want it to stick in the middle of the animation uh, as long as uh, as sh we are holding the down arrow. So uh, so let's talk about how to do that. So uh, what we'll do is let's make the down arrow make her crouch. So. On control down uh, so she can crouch if she's in her walking animation or her uh, her stand animation let's try that so uh, that played through it well okay so let's give her an in crouch animation And then she'll stand. Okay, so uh, oh yeah, it was based on how long I held the down button for. So, uh, so if we press if we press down, she'll crouch, but then she'll immediately stand up again. Well, we actually want to pause it in her crouch. Uh, so, firstly, there's this uh, there's this special. Uh, variable called uh, time in animation, which is basically how, how long you've been in the animation. And so I'm going to output that when we crouch. So when we crouch, we can see that she uh, she goes through and uh, and it goes from 0 to 19. Uh, and that's because of our... That's based on our duration and our number of frames, and it, it goes in reverse. So what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to make it so that we want to hold up this time in animation. If we, uh, if they keep on holding the down button, we want her to stay crouching. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, if the time in animation is equal to 10 and uh, they're holding down the down button, then we, we want to uh, reduce the time in animation by one. And that will mean that this condition will keep on hitting and triggering over and over until they let go of the down button. And then that will allow it to proceed through the animation. So we're kind of holding up the animation in the middle here. So, uh, so let's try that. So if I just tap down, it does that. If I hold down, it, it holds her down. And when I let go, she stands up again. So there we can see her, her crouching works perfectly. Now, there's one other thing uh, that, of course, crouching is going to be used to duck under things. And, uh, and something that is... Uh, uh, so, at, at the moment, uh, what we can do is we can... Um, uh, is, is we can go and look at what her uh, solidity looks like. So... Uh, so we see that this rectangle, this is actually a new feature, this shows us uh, the solid area of the frame. So we can see that this, uh, this solid area is about right. This is how, uh, how solid uh, she is. Now, uh, uh, if we go here, we can see that, that this solid area should be reduced. So uh, what we'll do is the solid area is right here. So we will reduce the Y value and we'll, we'll increase it to like 18. And that, mm, let's increase it all the way to 20. Okay, so that means that when she's, when she's crouching, uh, and we'll actually go by the, make it, yeah, 
I think that's pretty good. So th that'll give us a lot, a, a big difference. So when she's crouching, she really, uh, she really avoids uh, being being hit easily. Uh, so uh, so what we can actually do is you can press H, and it shows. Uh, this is a very useful feature. It shows the actual uh, solidity area of the character, and the white is the solidity of the level, and and the the black uh, boxes are the solidity of the character. And now when she's crouching, we can see that uh, that she's actually lower, and she won't get hit as easily. Now this does uh, this does give us problems in some cases where if she was say crouching uh and uh and then she stood up but uh, say there was some moving platform that came over here and was above her and she stood up this would cause a problem with the game uh so what you need to do is there's this uh there's this special event called uh called uh on change animation failure where if you uh if the animation tries to change so say it changes from uh from crouching and now she stands uh but she can't stand because there's something above her that's called a change animation failure because she tried to change the animation but there's something blocking so you can't uh so in such a case what we need to do is we need to handle it here uh otherwise otherwise this will be a fatal game error because the game tries very hard to make sure that solid objects are uh are not uh on top of each other and there there is a special command you can use to uh to uh, to try to like replace the object in the level so it'll shift it as necessary. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we'll just say that if she can't stand up, uh, we'll just set her animation to her previous animation. Uh, which means that if she's crouching and she tries to stand and she can't, it'll just keep her crouching uh, until she is able to stand up. And uh, and I, I think this is a good solution, uh, a large portion of cases. But the game lets you handle this because there's different ways you might want to handle it. You might just want to make the character die in some cases, if they if they can't uh, if they can't change animation. However, what you should note is that uh, is that change animation failures can only happen if two uh, if two animations have different solid areas. So for that reason, uh, it's good to make sure that solid areas. Are are always the same size in different animations unless there's a really good reason why they shouldn't be. So our crouch has a really good reason why it should be smaller, but everything else is the same size and that minimizes this, this kind of error. Now we will also see that, uh, and I think we can see when we jump, uh, we kind of go, uh, I think, a little bit... She kind of flies up in the air and that's because uh, this is... this solid area isn't quite right when you change animation the game anchors the position of the character according to the solid position so it's really kind of good if you can make your solid position as accurate as possible uh, and that'll make things look good so let's fix that up uh, and then our walking also doesn't look great we should move our walking one over a little bit. and then probably our attack Okay, so let's let's just make sure that this all looks good. Okay, attack. And yeah, that that all looks pretty good. Okay, uh, so that's that's it for now. I think in the next video, I'll probably try to uh, try to add some enemies and show show you how to add enemies and show you how to make uh, Eliza interact with them.